blame black people for this. Why we got to keep saving folks? Mm-hmm. And black men have been emasculated. It seems like this point in time, every black person now decides to wake up. Now, I watched the, the clip of uh, what this woman was saying. And she was speaking some pro- profound truth. But honestly, at this point, it's too late. After, let's say, about a good 30 35 years of the baby daddy drama thing, man you know, black woman feminism. Now, all of a sudden, we supposed to come together. And there's been no real reconciliation between black men and, you know, black women. You know, up until recently, black women was talking about, you know, uh, what was it? What what was the uh, what was their term? They was talking about divested from, you know, black men, but now because of the you know Democratic Party, you got people like this woman popping up, trying to seem like they all enlightened and woke, and oh now we need to you know get together. It takes the Democrats. Trying, trying to like utterly annihilate us for black people to wake up. And a lot of cats have been saying this for years that black people need to wake up. Like Lawrence Fishburne's like scene at the end of school days, wake up. Y'all ninjas need to wake up. But at this point, we can't just do it by ourselves. It's not in our hands. It's in y'all's hands. But see, we refuse to accept and acknowledge him. So now we at the point of being destroyed. Some of us think, oh, well, a lot of us think, oh, that's not going to happen. But we get up every day and we get closer and closer to the end of black people in North America. I've been seeing this about 10, 15 years that this was going to happen. I've seen this in like 2010. And like I'm only going to be 45 on my birthday. I was seeing this in my early 30s, late 20s. That cats was finished. My pops was telling me this at 24. He said, yo, black people going to do their sales in. And look what's going to happen. <laughs> y'all going, a lot of y'all going to vote this woman in that ain't even black. Because we got a messiah complex. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The Democratic Party has emasculated black men. And black women helped them do it. So for this woman to talk about. Oh, you know, we need to come together. Nah, we need God. We need the most high to deliver us. But the thing is, only one third of us is going to get this deliverance. The rest of us are we just done. It's too late, man. We had our chance. Some of us will walk out of Babylon. Most of us won't. And yeah, I know it's going to be a lot of y'all with your nose turned up to what I'm saying. And just in denial, you thinking like Kamala or whatever her name is, is going to save us. But she just sat on TV a year ago, whatever it was. And said she wasn't going to do anything for us. And she still got like 82% of the black vote. She might get 90 because a lot of us are just asleep. And because we're asleep and, you know, we're dead in our trespasses and we're inherently wicked. She's going to destroy a lot of us. And honestly, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it happens. But at this point... Black and black male and black female unity will not save us. Righteousness is going to save us. Too much of us like to like live in the dark. But we shall see what's going to happen on election day. Because if this lady gets in, it's just going to speed things up. And Trump gets in. 
it's probably still going to happen eventually anyway because we are stiff-necked people. But, well, we're in the best movie about black people ever. And at that point, all we could do is just sit back and witness what's going to happen. I have a feeling that I know. But the question is, does the rest of us realize what's happening? I don't think so.